Hello everyone and welcome to Silverhawks Let's Play. I am once again starting a character. <clears throat> Her name is Sandrasa. Um, I've done this quite some times by now, hat. so it's a uh, it's a well well known experience for me to start a new character and then just run it through, etc., etc. Uh, the thing is that the money I earn on these missions I put into gold and I use it on another character to get my... Um that went swimmingly. Let's get this done. My first uh, gear sets to work, basically. It's not a lot of money and I usually pay it back by the end of my three days of grinding. Let's see here, six and how much logs? Six I need. <clears throat> yeah, so that explains that. Um, I will be running through this startup zone and good, I'll, good. I, uh, I haven't done this in a while with you, so I was thinking about need just some advice? Go to the blacksmith. Hello, Love blacksmith. I was thinking about uh, doing doing this with you guys, you're so that you great. can see what Only you're supposed to be doing. Steps. I usually to get the to get ready for the fight. For the fight, I usually do this in two different ways. I either go for a crafter and if I go for a crafter person then I usually do a bit of that gathering in uh, this island or I won't be going for a crafter when I in that circumstance I make sure that I skip 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 to Malou skip 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 to Malou in that case, I just uh, basically run through the island and I skip all the grinding of that resource, basically. I don't like grind my ass off either. It's just a, a, a small little grind. Right, you're supposed to be... Okay, speak with Captain Tia. Sorry. You killed those heretics. Bloody good work. Then go talk to her. Don't be shy. Buy a new. Deal. Local goods. Thank you. Yes, Made please. Find a wounded crafter. Show for the thumb. Lumber. Um, yeah. So I usually. You you can call me Cyrus. That's usually what I do. I acquire uh, one being a pickaxe. Let's see if I can do that directly. No, I can't. I need three wood and three other things. These are woods as well. Anywho, um, that's basically how, how I run things. I either I go and I farm stuff here a bit and then move on, or I won't be doing that at all and just farm the weapon and start to go to the real world. And usually I put my ass in the uh, cold area. Whatever that's called again. I think I've got enough. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Only the highest quality. Certainly. Okay, yeah. Many. There we go. I'm already. Please no time. Open the world map. I'm pressing M. Skip. 
return to craft the Sidlas in the cave. Cove, even, not cave. Well done. You now he wants me to go into the forest. Do a lot of digging there. Anywho, um, um, that, that's basically it. I am. Uh, the thing is that once I am doing this, I usually take, make sure that I take a lot of skinning with me in whatever character I'm playing. Or if I'm playing a, uh, whether I'm playing a crafter or a fighter. The last times I did this, I, I've created a fighter, and this isn't a, a big difference for now because I'm making a fighter now as well. I will be making an axe person, and this axe person is supposedly going to be able to take on like a dungeon. Why is he also attacking it? Boss could. Yes, um, <clears throat> he's supposed in the end be able to go into tier 2 dungeons. So, no, not tier 2 dungeons. He's supposed to be able to go into group dungeons. That's it. And then uh, kill stuff there. And for this, I got three days. Three days of premium that I will get as soon as I leave this place. Because I'll get that at the, uh, the next place. At the first startup place. I am unsure which side of the world I'm going to be spawning in. I probably will not choose the cold place because I've always that chosen fast. the cold place. Trust in Tia. Her <laughs> plans always work. Yes, that was my boss. He said I did a good thing. Anywho, uh, that is uh, that is all. I'll catch you once I'm done with this uh, tutorial island thingy. Yes, I'm going to take cotton and skin and I'm going to make a backpack out of it. And I'll get that cloak for free. That's why I'm grabbing a little bit extra of cotton. Which doesn't take many seconds. Anywho, see you there. Hello everyone. Hmm. Hello everyone. Uh, I'm back. I'm now on the mainland. <sighs> Three days. Wowza. Uh, finish royal expedition. Yes, I will. Boo -boo -boo -boo. This is the amount of uh, stuff that I choose to wear. I'll show you in a few seconds. Pick the mercenary shoes, mercenary jacket and cloth helmet. Of course, I'm going to use the cloth helmet and uh, the... Uh, Leather got some nice kick-ass cool uh, regeneration stuff attached to it. But that's good. That is good. That is good. I think this will be the uh, thing I'm looking for. I will have a feeling for it and check it out properly if this will be the way I run this. There we go. And the shield is just a shield. It's 
it has nothing or anything attached to it. I will however go for a, a bigger shield a little bit later and I usually like to play with a shield when I play with shields. What other things you can take, for example, if you want to follow along, but you want to do it a little bit different, then you might as well go with a torch, a music, or something like that. You can do whatever you prefer to be doing, of course. As you see now, you see I'm running around with a sword. Sword is not my main focus. I will be going with an axe. Because there's a special point in the axe that I want to that I want to get get. I'll show you once once I'm at that part. It won't be a very long time. It's down these stairs that I get to get the learning point to Do it! Do it! There you go. It would be interesting to try to run a sword build sometime in the future. So I'll probably be doing that as well. Might as well eat you. Well, you are actually a good thing to you. Gain one thousand fame from killing more. That is a good thing. Uh, does that mean no? Seventeen. Okay. Stay out of that fiery circle. You're dead. This guy's progression will be a lot smoother in my opinion, or I think it will at least. The last one I played uh, had a black zone thingy attached to it. What I did was I leveled it up as much as I could, and then I just went for dark zone, black, for black zone. There we go. Please. Yes. And thank you. Now I will, however, be uh, going a bit in. Um, go. Where's the shoes? Where's the shoes? I need to choose my shoes. Trainee gathering. I'm not interested. No, right. I was thinking uh, I need the leather boots. Why can't I get that? But I got that together with the helmet. No, uh, chest. And I am going to kill stuff with the sword now. Can't be helped. Well, it could be helped. I could have bought the axe before I left on this expedition. But it's not like I'm going to lose that much in progression. Uh, running these uh, daily... Uh, 
dungeons, uh, solo ones, are a very, it's a very nice uh, thing to do. You should be doing it. Because if you do that once per day, then you get hold of a, a insignia that you then sell. And that's a very nice one. As you might know, I... A lot of people that play this game, they don't give a damn about gaining um, silver. Well, they do do that, I guess. It's just that I can't like leave silver behind, so I always pick pick, the, pick these small piles of gold silver up. So I I've said a lot of people have commented and said that don't do that because you'll earn more if you just keep running instead. But I I don't care. I'll pick I, I always pick it up. Oh, oh sorry. Um, again, as before, this is not the bestest of ways to ever, ever, ever grind. I would still hold that to become a, uh, either a spear or... Um, Crossbow. I think my dual crossbow girl that I keep using at the as a let's play, I think she is actually the optimal build, the one you should be going with if you want to level very fast. This is just uh, be able to kill everything in the game, sort of bit. She is the fastest to run dungeons, I think. <laughs> Interrupted him. Bah! Mama. That way we will have a lot of mana for both. There we go. And health. There we go. You might be thinking, as I did in the start of my uh, Let's Plays, that the best person to make into a big huge duda would be a guy that wear only plates. And uh, even though that might actually be a little bit true, it feels like it's not all of us all together true. Okay. The thing is that plate is very good if you're tanking, but that's about it. That's, well, at least that's what I've discovered so far. Combat. Yes, equip. Equip equipment. Where is Zai Healer? And by healer, I of course mean... Right, he's up here. Might as well... Bring him along. Here he is even. No, I don't want to be in the guild. 
put it there. <coughs> See you soon. Ooh. Honest prices. Honest prices. Sell order. Sell order. Sell order. This marketplace here is not the bestest of place to go. Dear Lord, no. It's one of the worst places to go, probably. Probably, probably. But I don't really care right now because I don't need the gold, the silver that much. And they can. What you can do is you put up prices here and then you take the thing and go to town and sell them. You sell them for a lot more than what I'm getting here. If you'd want. Sell order, sell order, sell order. Let's start at the top. Armor, we want a cloth helmet. Let's go to the correct place. Then take the correct one. These cost about the same, so I'll buy that one. Then we shall get the leather armor. Mercenary jacket, that is nice. Let's see if we can get the mercenary jacket point one. We couldn't. Let's see if we can get any cooler kick-ass one. Yeah, for just a few silver extra. We can get that one. Buy that one. And then leather shoes. Or should I go with... Yeah, leather shoes. Let's see how much you are. Three... 2000, let's buy the cheap one. Sorry, you don't seem to have enough silver. Yeah, that's a problem. Satisfied? Yes, I'm very satisfied. That's where you come in. Don't be shy. I'm, I'm almost never shy. Let's see, and then we go for axe, because that's the way we want to ride. Um, these are all nice. He's only double the cost, so I'll buy that. And shields. Shield. You, here you could go with whatever. You don't really need to bring a kick-ass shield. And yeah, you might think that shield is a cool thing to have, a very nice one, but I, I really don't mind having a not too nice one. Force field, increase all your damage and healing, energy regain, I want, and then inferno shield or mend wounds. And wounds, balance by, increase all damage you healing cost by four. That's not a bad thing that I'll take. The shoes, invisibility or run like a maniac. Well, invisibility is always nice, and take that one. That one, increase all your damage and your healing cost by 1.5. I'll take that one. This will be... There you see, 
That's the main skill of all. Blood Bandit. Throw your axe in the target direction, dealing blah blah, slowing him is really Steals a percentage of the health of the enemy lost based on rending bleed charge. Uh, 0, 30, 60, 100. And that is the rending charge, I think and believe. Deadly chopper and a little boost. That will do fine. And then the added perk. Pick you up. Use you. Then use you. And that's the area. Let's ride! Uh. Oh. Could have picked a better horse, but I'll do that once I am the town because down here the horses are expensive like no tomorrow let's check the map I got the map up there even Steven Nice to be in a green field with rabbits and stuff. That's not a rabbit, that's a marmoth. Marmot. I needed to use that uh, scroll. I needed to use it uh, before I uh, went into this map. Because if I use it one side been on the map, then it wouldn't work really. Because it's the neighboring tile that it appears in. Otherwise I'd be very tempted to go into the middle of this map and then use it. Because when I do it like this, other people have a tendency to take my dungeon. Hello there. This area is the main land for stone gathering, and that's why I just got harassed by a stone giant there. And now you might think, how do I know that this is the one that I'm supposed to be in? Well, he's got an enemy's dungeon or 16% stronger. That's the way you know it. Now you see this thing that is circling him. That would be the bleed charge. Let's see if we can not bring that a bit higher up once we hit this fellow. There, now it's three, then I throw the axe. I heal myself. Let's see if we can do that with this character as well. That's the heal charge and that's the throw. 192. That's basically the best way of healing in the game. When you do it to yourself. It's not a bad thing. It really isn't. Especially when once the... That takes a portion of the damage you do and it heals, heals you right back up. Uh, the reason why I'm using a shield and not a torch uh, or uh, whatever is because I like the look of a shield on my arm. The difference between a shield and uh, another item is that the shield helps you a bit with protection I think or defense or something we'll actually check that out uh, CC resistance defense versus player is 2% defense versus mobs are 2% and 
threat regeneration bonus is 8.4 which you can do what you want with because I'm going to play this solo it doesn't matter if I got the threat or not because I'll always have the threat since I'm the only character What do you got? What do you got? Then I threw that axe on the, those people instead of... Um, but, and there I threw it too late. He was already dead. It's not like it matters a lot because I got the healing aura around. myself to use that kind of shield I'm probably going to switch shields for the funs of it it's not like it matters a lot what kind of shield I'm using the only thing that actually is like the thing I need to think about is make sure that I once I've started to use a shield then just go with that shield don't mix shields I probably won't go with the Avalonian one. And that's not because it's a bad shield, it's just it's very costly. And doing a beginner's guide isn't the best to do one if you use two expensive items. It might be. Do 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 Now I can use those. I looted the chests. Congrats to me. And I got that I got as a reward. I can now use level three horses. And I need a little bit more to be able to use level four horses. Let's use that. Yes. So I learned that one. Expedition. Uh, standard. You can now go to level 4 dungeons without a problem. That's a good thing. What kind of a dungeon is this? This is a level 3 dungeon. Okay. Yeah. bit there because he was shielding himself. So it's the amount of damage that you do with the axe that you throw and not the total amount of the... well it's the amount of the axe you do damage with not the, the potential damage. Apparently. I just learned there. Now he's got three. Now I'm just waiting for his shield to disappear, then I'll throw the, that one and heal myself up. There, now I throw that one. Heal myself up. Now I've got three rings. I'll use that one. 
because he just put up a shield so I heal for 19, which is crap. But it does not matter. And uh, the axe hits for fairly big damage by itself. Like you saw there, I almost killed them. That means that once I've gained a little bit of skill in with this axe, I'll actually kill them with just throwing the axe at them. Let's see this. Boom, boom, boom. And use that one. I will continue to just level the weapon. damage. Might as well run back a bit. That's what the soup is for. The carrot soup. There he before he tossed up his shield. Usually I take care of the weakest one first, but I wanted to hit the big guy because he actually could heal me. I could heal myself on him, that's why I did that. There, killing the heretic boss. Silenced or stunned, I meant. Throw that axe. Let's see who's <laughs> hardest. He is probably the hardest. Hardest of them all! Let's build three on him. If you crit with the axe, I believe that you will actually gain the uh, ability of it. I meant you'll heal as much as you crit. I'm not going to have such a Stupid idea. I thought I'd make it. Lost thought. I thought I'd make it. It's not like the world is coming to an end. Boss is a hard will be a hard one. Let's take a view to the fire. It's not 
the best of melee bosses. So the axe to heal up. Damn it. Yeah, that happened. Champ. This uh, dungeon is pre rendered. The reason why I got shit tons of loot like that was because it's it's a scripted one, so to speak. So I got like four shoes, eight of the other shoes. Yeah, got shit tons of shoes there. You are soldier and you are soldier. Mm. Oh, ah, there's different qualities to them. Is this not the way down? could be doing now of course is to walk into this instance here but it's a level a low level one so I wouldn't want to do that of course my price is on level five dungeons I think that with the, the uh, upgrades I'm going to get right now I'll be able to the ability to take level 5 dungeons pretty easily. Thinking about what kind of a cape I want though, maybe mercenary will be the one, maybe spectre or something. Might be interesting to do a little bit more damage. No, mercenary is probably the one that I'll be going with. And the helmet might be a cultist helmet, because I like kind of like cultists ones. So yeah. Run 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 run. Jackets and shoes of tenacity. I went there to refine the iron for free. The thing is that once you uh, do uh, grind for uh, metal or any kind of resource. Let me guess. You gave me the 
did I finish repairing or did I pretend I did? Could it? Now this one sends me to the town, I think. Gathering crafting, okay, the big city. Yes. And I think this is the way you do it. You go there, I think. No. No, you go this way. Ah, oh, it even says down there on the map. It's a big yellow ring there. Shows me that this is the way. This is the way. I did something wrong in my fishing tutorial before. Of course I should have gone to the middle town and gone down in the cellar and grinded the fish. It would have been the most beneficial one because those waters are apparently pretty good. I still don't do that with my ordinary fisher. Who is my main? Basically what you're going to do in town is you're going to talk to the guy there and he will send you to all places in town and I will spare you that part, I'll do that by myself so no worries. And then I'll sell all my equipment that I've gathered so far and I'll put on the tier 4 one. Yes, yes indeed. Anywho, so uh, you walk into town, this is the lovely town, uh. and you talk to him. Hello! I didn't get that one now, did I? I did get that one, then a few. I'm not going to go through any more of your quests. This is a town, so this town is filled with people. And I'll try to make it to where the auction house is. There's the auction house. And I'll be selling these, etc, etc. So be right back. Uh. And yes, hello everyone. And welcome to Silverwolf. Let's play. I was about to say that's when I start my episodes. I say that. <clears throat> Righto. Uh, I am now out in the yellow zone. Which is the closest zone to for my do that to be in, basically. And as you see, there's a lot of rock elementals here. That's mainly because this is the rock capital of the world. Let's see, am I? No. Could he? Uh, Luston or. Good trust. I guess I'll make it over here. The reason why I don't pick up this first instance is because this first instance is usually wrought with a lot of PvPers and stuff. People that like to behave like assholes. <clears throat> and the amount of people that are usually being in here is usually very much higher than the ones that are in the next zone, so to speak, because why would you move to the next zone? That's boring. Uh, right, I shall show you what kind of gear I brought as well. I'm just right into the next zone first. Leave Stone Hill! Actually, here's one of these, so I'll pop down here gotta make sure it's not taken it seems to not be taken so you see it's a bit of a glow here to the weapons etc I got the cultist cowl because I like to wear that one basically 
It's got uh, maximum health, maximum physic, uh, attack bonus, magical affinity, yada yada, energy regeneration, and healing cost bonus. Like that. Then the mercenary jacket, nothing to say here. I picked the bloodlust skill to heal myself, and I picked the increased audio damage and healing cost by four. And that's all like it works. And the same thing here all damage and healing, and that is invisibility to be able to turn invisible if I do silly stuff. Then I picked up the face breaker. The reason why I pick up the face breaker is because it's cool. That's basically it. It's got uh, some stats here, defenses from mobs 2.7 etc. The reason why they are blue is because they, the blue part of them cost as much as their counterparts, which I don't see the reason why not to take a, a tier extra of it. And here's the amount of uh, uh, skill things I'm going to take with these. I will, as soon as I have leveled up li Life Leech, I will take that one as well. So it will steal 15% of damage dealt. We can even go here and check when that is. Ah, I'll learn it at level 6 in the skill, so that's not very far from now. Just see how this goes. It's an odd thing that the uh, thing went for such a cheap cost. I also brought poison pots because I like pots of pots. In the beginning. Now, for instance, go for an E here, the R amount. As you see, I heal all, almost all the way up again. If I can hit this tree, that is. And now that I feel like I'm getting away, I'll just turn invisible. I think I forgot to buy carrot soup. Yes, I did. It's not like it matters. Uh, after this instance, I'm probably going to go with cabbage soup instead. If I had my own island, I could actually make cabbage soup by myself. But I don't have that. That would be if I continuously played this character forever and ever and ever. Then I'd probably get an island, make cabbage soup, be merry. And apart from cabbage soup, I'll probably put up a lot of uh, houses where I have my dudas running around and there we go. Lots of houses for. Ooh, that's nice. And mana is not a bad thing to have. One more and axe. Once you get hold of this little axe thingy, you probably just do it by not thinking about it even. It will be a second nature to you. You could of course also go with uh, the Axe of uh, whatever it's called. Axe of Yor or something. As you saw there I tossed the Axe. That was not a mistake. I did it because it also deals a lot of damage. Even though I haven't picked up any of those debuffs on it. So basically die directly. 
now for anything, so I can throw it. And as you see, I am... Let's take you away, put you away, put you away, put you away. Put you away. You should be there. Yes, sir, yes, sir. What's the point of doing anything? Right, that I should not have it done because I'm not even using that one. Let's see, you. I don't need to have you tracked. You I want tracked. You I want tracked. You I don't want tracked. That's the one I don't need to take. Toolmaker. No. I'm alright. Don't need you. Don't need you. And you, you and you. Perfection. That is all I need. There. Yeah, as you see, I can totally kill everything in here. And the thing is that hopefully I'll be able to kill the bosses as well. We shall see how that works. But um, if I can do that, then I can just keep on going. And now the build is done. So it, it's, it's gone. I don't need to continue playing. I mean, if this is the beginning guide that you have, then... Disappear. Pick up that loot. Wait a few seconds. And go. <coughs> the uh, usual thing is that I usually use my D on bosses. That is usually when I use it, or if I'm in, uh, I'm in a. Uh, What's the point of doing anything? That's a stupid thing. I didn't see that they tossed out there. I think my goal is there. Doesn't matter a lot. The only thing you do is to get right up and beat their arse. It's a little bit boring that you have to... And these fellows try to kill them once. one at a time, like this, because they will enrage at the end. Yeah, if I'd know that, I'd just put R and push R and heal up anyhow. This build is insane when it comes to how much healing, self-healing you can do, especially if you can do self-healing. this 
It's just insane how much healing you can do to yourself. And I'm not even done with the axes. I'm also going to self push that all damage I do self heals. Level 6 would be when I do the life shenanigan. This is usually also what I do once I'm playing. I toss aside all gear and I let the gear take care of itself. And then I just go for the weapon when it comes to how much I teach myself. Of course, when I play my main character nowadays, she's got like 4,000 learning points or something. I don't know how much. It might be a cat on it. But she's got insane amount of learning points, so her I'll just whenever I play her, I just toss in that learning point for funsies because I don't need to care at all. Okay, so you two are here. Welcome. Okay, so I have to deal a little, little bit with you then. What's the point of doing Skip them for now. <laughs> there is a way to <laughs> skip them entirely. more proficient with my axe. Uh. Yeah, throw that axe to hell is also one way to do it. And miss clicking click hide when you want to click R is also one way to do it. It's not the correct way to do it, it's one way to do it. Thank <laughs> you. 
I love when I throw the, that axe to the forest. Okay, here we one. That's not a bad thing. Can you take this axe? Can you hold this axe for a few seconds in your face? Let's go here and pick that up. It's not like I need it right now at this second oh, no. because I got that buff. But oh, well, the edge. This unfortunately look like a place. This unfortunately looks like an epic chest. It would be my luck to find an epic place once. I start my Able to kill her anyhow, but I'll try my best. Not the perfect timing to go invisible. When what you wanted to do was totally different. chance in hell to uh, make that. It's a pity she's a nice girl to have killed.
My uh, axe skill is going up though, and I'm getting better and better, so maybe I'll... No, that won't happen either. <laughs> I thought that maybe I can finish this dungeon then go back to her, but yeah, that, that won't happen. Let's see, take two of this. thing is that I'm not supposed to be able to do this, what I'm doing right now anyhow, since uh, I need to be expert driver to be able to even go in here. But the gear is such a good gear that I thought I would be able to, to make it anyhow. And I, and I do do this. Of course you see that I'm playing it right now. There we go. So I am doing it, it's just... I need to be a bit higher now. Does his spin to win moment? <laughs> Left too many enemies alive. That is no worries. We'll take care of these fellows. Hello, guys. <laughs> Enough, you think? No, it looks like it. no, it did work. Let's just port out. in there This seems to be um, not taking one. Well. 
Positive thing about being out in the real world rather than to be inside the black zone is that here you don't have a, a, like a top of what kind of gear you bring. Here you just bring whatever gear and be happy with it. Well, when you're in the dark zone, you think a little once or twice before you bring any kind of gear in because all the gear that you bring out in the black zone, dark zone basically means that it's going to be well, broken, stolen, etc. Mob. Yeah, as I said, I don't really know what what else to do than say have a nice day and etc. to you guys because well I'm going to keep playing this. I guess I could toss in a few Yes, I could toss in a few uh, thingamagolis when I stop, stop playing it. Because this is actually the build I'm going to go for, for now on. Yeah, I might as well talk a bit about this going into dungeon. I meant to go to uh, group dungeons by yourself. As you see now, the healing potential, even though it's not overhealing me, so to speak, it is actually really nice. And this has... Stupid me. As I was. God damn it, my webcam has stopped working, so be right back. And yes, I'm back. Uh, the thing I was talking about the group dungeon is that, as you see, the amount of uh, self feeding that I'm doing to myself doesn't work when I'm stunned. Uh, that like exponentially becomes better and better the more uh, the higher up you go in level let's hit the third one Yeah, I 
did not, however, call them. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is basically it. I just go from instance to instance and kill everyone. I got 71 down there and then I'll actually be able to go into level 5 instance, which I'm already in, but never mind that. Let's see, what can we do with you? We start with throwing one of you, then we throw one of you, then we go in. Yeah, that's a bit perverted. Why do I do that? I got my invisibility cloak, I got my regain more health, I got everything. As you see, I have a bit of a problem with dealing with those guys. Mainly because I'm recording, so I'm not properly doing it, and also I'm a silly pumpkin. What happens when you stay out of their, their aura, and this is what happens when you stay in their aura. Mm. 
Now oh, you're stupid. Ow! Seven, seven. most definitely someone who wanted to sell me something and I'm not interested in buying it. Whatever they're trying to sell me. 80% come on! I said before that skill only works when you're conscious. If you're stunned, you're not conscious. Uh. 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 It's your turn, you big meanie. Carrot soup. Let's eat that carrot soup. The thing is that if you are having such a problem that I have, or even worse problems, then you could actually go into the uh, yeah. step below this stuff and run them a, th a few times. And that's probably the best way to do this build. Although I kind of like to do it this way. I also think that in uh, once I reach this expert reaver, then I can flag for my country. My country? A faction.
should of course have hit the invisibility button there. I'm just not very used to having it. Dear friends, hello, guys. That's a nice cloak. Ooh, by the way, I can use that cloak. Yeah, that's a nice cloak. It seems to have lightning. It seems lightning that works upon them. Well, all of them enemies. Here I get stoned to Bosses in here. Well, I'm up to ninety six per cent, so I most probably will be making it. I don't know how I got knocked out there, but sure. Sure, it felt like I was outside of that circle, but apparently not. Hopefully this boss will be a lot easier now to kill. We 
Retriever, which is my level 5 dungeon clearing buff, which, as you saw before, works like this. Give me a few seconds. There we go. Expeditions unlocked, damage versus creature tier increase with 45%, defense versus creature tier 5 is increased by 31% so a little bit better a little bit more uh, this uh, should be uh, You guys are making me angry. You're not supposed to make me angry, but you're making me angry. And there you saw that clock, the lightning clock, it was three there. same time. And there's all the cloth again. It did not only hit him, it also hit these fellows. And you can clearly see the improvements. From uh, being almost dead to actually kicking, kicking ass. Okay, wait a few seconds, guys. Or should I take you directly? <laughs> Let's take you directly. <laughs> Two healers and one big guy is a bit harsh. I'll do it on the way back. Yeah, well, I guess this is time for me to leave you guys. Uh, I've been on for long enough and 
I showed you what you needed to see and also the buff helps a lot when you got that debuff that you can't well you get lots more defense and you gain a lot of more what's over there that throws my mouse away um, yeah you, you truly madly deeply see how a big of a difference this buff does Okay, I'll fight this boss as well, and then I'll call it. Then I will call it. Through you. Yeah, that, that's how easy he goes down now that I managed to kill him. Did I just found, find two of expert satchels? These are 61k each, so that's a small amount of money there. Small amount of profit. Anywho, this is how this build works. Now you know. Get playing. Bye bye. <laughs>